All right, one locomotive I really wanted to review and forgot it in the mix of all the releases this year is the Bachman Trains HO Streamlined K4. It has DCC and sound on board and it's Pennsylvania Railroad locomotive. So we're gonna see what you get in the box starting now. Really cool box by the way. I like all the kind of charts and stuff on the back and spectrums on the back. So nice job on the presentation for sure. This is a DCC and TCS wow sound. So TCS just recently making its way into some manufactured installed sound, which is pretty cool. If I can figure out this box, Ugh, there we go. But yeah, they are factory installed and some Bachman locomotives now. And so two parts. remember correctly, Bachman has like a little secret wind door back here and you let that fall out and there's where your paperwork is. So DCC, see that secret door going on there? Not making sure I'm in frame. How to connect the locomotive, DCC quick start guide, exploded parts diagram, Bachman catalog, pamphlet and a warranty card so that's all the good stuff for paperwork but who looks at instructions real men don't look at instructions okay maybe we do sometimes locomotive Oh, by the way, got the back here, a little drop step. It may have just come unglued. I guess that's what happened there. So we'll fix that. And more about how the locomotive goes together. go into a deeper dive. All right, this is proving to be a little more difficult than I thought. So you have to take out the screws, separate the housing of the tender to connect this locomotive draw bar, which is a very unique draw bar. I have not seen this before. It's gonna get a little more time consuming than any other locomotive I've simply hooked up. So we'll go ahead and get this disconnected and uh, reconnected with a couple different screw heads here because I believe even though the diagram says you only have to take off the screw bodies, you also have to remove the trucks. So we'll get this underway. Okay, quick life lessons with James Wright because we've just been off camera for over 30 minutes messing around with this. So when you go to take the tender off, the tender shell off, you're gonna wanna loosen the trucks just enough to be able to manipulate them so you can access the other two screw holes because if you take them all the way off i'm just warning you now there are little nuts in each one of these and if you take them all the way off the nuts break loose you have no way to secure it without taking off the board which is what i just had to do to re-secure the nut and then hold it down as you screw it in which is also a pain in the neck so not sure what's up with this uh, draw bar design or you know uh, why there's usually reasons behind everything so I don't critique I just uh, inform you guys of what's going on with this, the design aspects anyway but uh, this is supposed to be sitting in here let me see if that's right so you just put it in the little Y gap right there and then the shell goes back on you hook up the wiring of course sorry just a little bit out of frame but that just sits down 
and then the shell goes back on and then what you do next is you screw the post back in and you're ready to actually run the locomotive all right and just like that we're in business everything's hooked up now not really easy to undo it so even though it's hanging off the turntable we're going to take a look at the details starting with the front and the nose you've got an led headlight smokestack that's inoperable it's just capped off inside there so you'd really have to do some heavy modification to get a smoke unit in installed and working with the decoder etc pennsylvania railroad keystone as they want to call it on the front above the headlight handrails here and here and then you've got a bachman easy mate 2 coupler right there on the pilot there's the pilot detail with some molded in detail like uh, these doors here I'll zoom in a little more so you guys can see a little better on the side metal grab irons as you can see there walk away you got a yellow stripe running down the side Pistons and side rod detail, obviously, as with most steam locomotives, there on the side. This is a 462 locomotive, six driving wheels. There's all the side rod eccentric crank detail. I believe that's a little handbrake there, but I could be wrong because this is not exactly my era. They do have cab figures installed. There's a deck plate. Um, angles up slightly when you're looking at the side view here. And then the actual wiring there below. Probably tuck that in a little bit so it's not dragging too much on the track. Pennsylvania Railroad logo on the back, along with Pennsylvania on the side. Nice print, everything good there. Coal load's good. Nice realistic coal load. Water hatches molded into the tender. Crew access ladder on the rear. Coupler cut bar that's metal and some grabs on the back here. More of the same on this side, a little different detail, not much. And some molded in detail up top as well. Must not be a brake wheel because it's on both sides, maybe just ornamentation there. It wouldn't be a really a brake wheel on a locomotive anyway, on a steam locomotive to my knowledge, or at least not there, but I could be wrong. You guys from the era can fill me in on all that and tell me how horrible I am. So, that is about it. There's a little more up close view. Let's get into operation with this TCS Wow sound. Let's fire it up, listen to some sounds. Bell. Whistle. Short whistle is F3. Remember, this is TCS Wow sound. Slow down. Water fill on F6. Cylinder cocks, also a function. See, look at that one speed step there. You can see the drivers fairly smooth there. One, there's two. It's crawling along pretty slowly. Three, four, and five. Reverse here. So one, two, three. Three gets it moving. Up to five now. So there you go. There's kind of a rundown of the locomotive forward and reverse. One thing I wanted to show you real quick is it has back 
boiler back head detail and a firebox flicker. It's easiest to see with the tender shell removed so I went ahead and did that just to show you that detail but pretty cool feature you can see it even more vibrantly from this angle there you go all right quick pull test see what we got going on the pull test so it looks about 1.7 ounces which is about 25 30 cars so there you have the pull test. Well, I wanted to show you the golden white LED headlight. It looks really good. Nice accurate color. And then also wrap up this review all in one take, really. So this locomotive, a little difficult to put the drawbar on. As long as you heed my instructions, you won't have nearly as much problems as I did. It's a unique design, something I haven't seen before in Steam. Everything else was great, though. Motor control, pretty good. Sounds really good. Operates well. Uh, pull test on the low end of steam, probably the, the lower, lowest end of steam I've seen, um, but I don't know prototypically what these pull and if you really need it or not. If it's like a short freight or passenger, you know, then you're going to not need it anyway. If you have those little short old time box cars, it's more of this era, you're not going to need um, that much pulling power. Um, but you can always add to pulling power by adding weight or whatever the case may be. So, with that said, I'm going to leave you with a run-by, and uh, that'll be it for this product review. NMRA compliance was decent with coupler height, and, NM and the wheel gauges were good. Just wanted to throw that in because I did that off-camera. We will see you next time right here on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>